Hi, this is Manuel Copas. Um, I'm here today to tell you a different story. Um, the purpose of this uh, video is basically to raise awareness of a particular fundraising campaign that we started a few days ago. In fact, today is day two and uh, we are basically starting a project for crowdfunding uh, the genome, the human genome, but in this particular case for uh, the genomes of a family, uh, my family. So you may ask, why would you want to basically support this project? Because, you know, you, you are not going to basically get any benefit from my family being sequenced. I actually would say quite the opposite. I think right now uh, the current technologies and the current sort of trends uh, indicate that everyone in the next few years is going to be uh, sequenced in terms of the DNA. Nevertheless, there is a huge problem here and is a lack of tools for interpretation of this data that are freely available. And that's a huge problem. And that shouldn't happen because it is absolutely necessary, I believe, basically, that everyone should have the right to analyze their own personal genome data and they should do it freely. And the point that we are trying to make with this project is to basically uh, analyze the genomes of my whole family who have already been quite engaged on the sequencing and analysis of uh, some of their genetic markers. In fact, a couple of years ago, we sequenced a million markers for my whole family and it was quite successful in the fact that you know we published this data and it, it provided lots of fruitful uh, research investigations that then led to the publication and the uh, development of new tools that are now freely available out there. In fact, we were able to publish a couple of papers, one of them uh, basically explaining the communication issues that, you know, uh, telling genomic information between family members could, could provide. We also developed a visualization tool and all of this is personal genomics information tools that are available out there. And unfortunately, the problem is that um, we were only able to sort of do with a very limited amount of data. In fact, a third of a billionth of all of the genomic data that exists for every single person. So now the challenge is that we are going to analyze the genomes of the whole family. And for that, we need to raise money. Unfortunately, it costs $20,000, which I don't have the money. And so I've been basically uh, dec deciding to have a crowdfunding campaign. And this crowdfunding campaign is basically to raise the money that is gonna go into this sequencing of these family genomes. I will not touch the money. This money is basically going to go directly to an account that the BGI, the Beijing Genomics Institute, has kindly um, allowed me to have. And they have given me their support saying that they will do the sequencing for this project. So the plan is once we get the sequencing done, we're gonna release all this data completely and freely available so everyone in the world can actually have access to this data. Some people may have uh, problems with this uh, fact that we are actually making this, this data publicly available. Many people have issues regarding privacy of genomic data. I actually don't believe that uh, the genomic data should have any different treatment to any other kind of data that we are currently um, sharing, for example, in Facebook and so on, I think that genomic data shouldn't be a kind of exceptional data. And in order for us to understand the relationship that exists between the genome and the traits that this DNA actually uh, provokes in the, in, the, in the individual, it's actually necessary that there are enough uh, data models out there. And, and this family, which is already been quite, quite well studied, will hopefully provide a model, not just for um, allowing the development of new tools for the interpretation of uh, genomic data, uh, and will also provide the facility of everything and all of the discoveries that we are gonna provide, 
they are going to be freely available. We are going to publish all this information on the internet. And we basically want to push the frontiers as to what kind of uh, information can be actually gathered just by using freely available tools. So we are going to learn a, a lot about what can be done. But I think the most important point that we really want to make here is that all of these data and all of these tools and all of these processes should be accessible to everyone in the world for no money. In the same way that we have today freely available the internet, I think it's a right for everyone in this world who has interest in his or her own genomic data to actually be able to analyze it for free. And I think currently, What's happening is that many companies rightly are investing a lot of money on these kind of uh, technologies. But if you actually want to uh, interpret that genomic data for yourself, it's actually quite hard. And there is a huge imbalance in terms of what you can do in terms of private um, data for interpretation and what you could do publicly. And really, what I really would want to uh, produce with this experiment is to raise the awareness that everyone should have access to their genomic interpretation tools for free. So if you are really interested in supporting this course, uh, you don't have to necessarily uh, donate money. Just pass the word. Let people who you think might be interested pass this video. And um, please send me an email uh, to manuel.corpus at gmail.com. And I will send you the account details from the BGA, uh, the BGI who kindly has agreed to do this experiment. So with that note, I just would like to say thank you for giving me this uh, enormous opportunity. And whatever sort of outcome that uh, this experiment provides, uh, you can count that we'll, we'll make sure that we report and hopefully we'll make a first step into providing free tools for everyone who want to understand their own genet genetic information. So thanks.